what I have seen in these great players and good pitchers is that as they move the club away from the target their head, upper torso and pelvis actually move a little bit towards the target and when I say a little bit we're talking three to four centimeters or an inch to an inch and a half so it's not like wow you've got to really move left here and mm -hmm. hang on your left side it's a subtle yes a little bit of pressure and then movement if you're looking on film what would you look at the, the back of their neck their 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 head their, their, their hip head, their head and their hip uh -huh. so if you looked for a right-handed golfer if you looked at their right hip Mm -hmm. it should move a little bit away from a line drawn up the okay. outside of the leg. And if you looked at a box around the head, you, you think, well, an inch, that might be you know, their, their left eye mm -hmm. moving to the edge of the, uh, um, mm -hmm. outside the box, just outside the box, so a quarter of your head. Right? So that's backswing. And then in the downswing, you actually want to go a little bit further left again. So maybe depending on the length of the shot another one to two inches further left with both the lower and the upper body so it's not like you just lean left with your upper body you need to move across there as well with your the lower whole body. system yep. goes yep. okay and then once once you do that we know that that's kind of a steeping agent so the rotation of the torso Extension, Extension mm -hmm. is then your shallowing agent mm -hmm. to, to help, help you control the low point. Because moving yourself forward like that is good to ensure ball first contact. Mm -hmm. If you hang back on your trail side, it's hard to get really solid contact each time. So, just to summarize, a little bit toward the target on the backswing, about an inch, and then another inch to two inches further toward the target on the downswing.